Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new unboxing video. Now today I'm going to be taking a look at a figure from a new line um, that I haven't had before um, and it's all been brought on by the new Batman movie starring Robert Pattinson and in my anticipation for that movie I was buying a little bit of merch. Um, it's not from that movie, actually. It's from a previous instalment in the Batman franchise. Um, but it's, as I say, a new figure to me uh, from a maker that I haven't had before. And it is this one. Mafex does Justice League, number 56. And this is Ben Affleck as Batman. So I'm curious to see what it's like inside. On first glance, the packaging is a little bit battered, a little bit beat up, but not to worry, it has come a long way, all the way from China, and it's taken about two and a half weeks to get here. Um, so I'm curious to see what it's like inside. I've done a little bit of research on these figures. Um, I hope it's okay. I'm a little bit nervous. I hear the articulation's a little bit delicate and it could break in my hand. Um, but on first glance, it looks pretty good. Um, yeah, we won't know till we get inside it. So let's stop talking and take a look. Just to show you really quickly, um, it is really well sealed in there. Uh, that's the outer box off and we've left with all this plastic and it's going to take a little bit of off screen opening I think. I'll be here all day. So while I was opening it, it's all fallen out of the tray, all the accessories, and it's threatening to go everywhere, so we'll just have to unpack it like this for a second. Anyway, that is a stand for the figure. So I'll be curious to see if that actually can be well utilized and posed, um, and if it can actually hold the figure, you know. So we'll take a look. As you can see, look, it's all falling apart. We've got hands everywhere. We've got blasters or rifles. Batman's head's loose. Yeah, need to go delicate. And maybe just get all these accessories out really quickly. How many bloody hands does a man need? Hmm. Right then, and just his gas launcher there. And take the head out. There we go. Oh! Hang on, Ben, don't fall. Oh, he wants to come out. Oh, there you go. Then. Jesus. Oh, I'll just get that out. And a little canister. There we go. Right, that is... Oh, that's not everything, actually. We've still got the batarangs to get out. Yep. Very fiddly. I think these are definitely for adult collectors because a child would lose all these accessories. I used to lose mine on my figures in the early days when I had the three and a half inch Star Wars uh, figures in the early 2000s. I used to lose the lightsabers and the guns and I'd have to paint uh, cotton bud sticks and uh, green, blue and red to replace the missing lightsaber um, 
So, yeah, sad. None of my figures have their original accessories. Well, not all of them that I'm missing, but anyway. Right, let's have a look. So, there he is. Batfleck. stuff right okay so holding him now oh that's a bit sensitive I don't want to twist that too much anyway on first glance he looks like a cool figure actually I like the uh, the lever cape I like that soft goods that's quite good and I do like the detailing as well this utility belt here is very cool. Um, and his wrist gauntlet there. I like the gold paint. Um, that hand there is quite loose, but this one here feels resistant and I don't want to overdo it. And at 25 pounds and up, you can't really afford to replace them too often. Yeah, that's all right, actually. That's not disappointing. I do like him. I've not had any Batman figures before, so I'm happy to receive this. Um, my personal favorite Batman in the movies is probably Christian Bale, his performance. Um, and Ben Affleck would be a very close second. I do enjoy the Zack Schneider films. Um, and probably against popular uh, opinion, but the Robert Pattinson Batman film didn't quite do it for me. Um, I enjoyed it, but it wasn't quite what I was expecting. But no, a good film, just not for me. But that's not to say I didn't enjoy myself. Just long. <laughs> But never mind. So there we are. That is Batman. So he looks quite good. Yeah. Happy with that. Let's have a look at these accessories. So we've got here a head. A very growling looking face of a Ben Affleck. Oh, that's not going to focus. There we go. Sort of. You get the point. Quite a good likeness, actually, to Ben Affleck. You've got his chin there. They're kind of lucky with this figure. They don't have to go too crazy with photorealism on the face. I've got some other figures coming of other characters from the Mafex line. And they're all maskless characters. Um, so we'll see what their faces look like. And there we go. That is his kryptonite gas launcher. That's quite nice, a little bit of metallic gloss on there, which is quite cool. And these are really tiny, these little batarangs. They're lovely though. Nice that they put them in. And what else have we got? We've got his grapple hook launcher. If you can see that. Yeah. Nice detailing. I was considering getting the uh, DC Multiverse figures, but these look more like collector's pieces than sort of standard action figure toys. So, And the fact that you get a, um, a stand to pose the figure is quite good. You get, gosh, you get half a dozen hands. I don't know, it's not going to do it justice, but if you pardon the pun, yeah. You get a little range of hands in there for different things. Holding his gun, holding his bat around. So. Not bad. Let's just take a look at the articulation here. So the legs move. Oh God, there's a ball joint sticking out. That's all right, we won't go too far with that. 
And there's his ankle. So he's got toe articulation. He's got ankle articulation. I'm not in the mood to break him. So we'll just take it easy. That's very good. Look at that. I like that. That debossing there. Yeah, it's quite good, that is. Yeah. Now, the detail's very good. I will look forward to posing him shortly. And there's his cowl there. His head movement's good, not too loose. I'm probably going to keep that head on him as well. Yeah, not bad. Right then, let's just get him in a final pose position. Even that looks all right, doesn't it? Yeah, right then. So there we are, everybody. That is Batman. He's been roughly posed. It's not that exciting, but it was just to demonstrate that the stand is very good and does actually hold him up. And the figure can actually stand without the stand as well. So he doesn't need the, uh, the extra support, but I suppose if you want him to be doing something like a jump kick in the air or some sort of flying movement, then it could be quite good. But yeah, I think I took a gamble on this figure. Um, I wasn't sure what to expect from the Mafex line. Um, he's six inches and he's got good articulation. He's not too flimsy. He's not delicate, I wouldn't say. Um, he's pretty good. He looks the part. He looks accurate. He's got good paint job. Um, I'm actually really impressed. I don't begrudge the £25. I'm quite happy with that. That's that's a good addition um, to this collection. So I'm probably going to do a few more of these, actually. Pick a few more up as time goes by. Um, see how we get on. But yeah, happy with that. Well done, Ben. You didn't let me down. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a little like and uh, feel free to share and subscribe as well. See you on the next one. Bye.